Hi, so let's solve one of the interesting question which came in the series and quite interesting I would say of algebra. I would say please pause the video and try to solve this question. I hope you have paused the video and question ko try kiya hoga. Chalo is question ko solve karte hain the best way possible. We have this expression is divisible by means this expression is a factor. So first of all factorize this one. We have x square. Take the x common from these two terms or better minus x. So if you take in the x common we have bz and the x common we have ay plus abyz. If we see this expression, we have the summation and we have the product. So we could easily say this one is x minus bz and the x minus ay or you could say that splitting the middle term. We got a factor. Now, since this expression has the factor of this, we could say xn minus pyn plus qzn is actually written as the factor bz and the x minus a y into k because our terms could be the factor into some value. Now say this expression is a. In a I would say put x is equal to bz that is one of the factor divide. So if we put x is equal to bz our terms should be b n z n minus p y n plus q z n is equal to 0 because this expression becomes 0. Say this one is expression b. Now we have to do another values putting. So in the a that is our first expression put a is equal to x is equal to a y. So if we put x is equal to a y we will get a n y n minus p y n plus q z n is equal to 0. Say this one is expression c. So we have expression b and the expression c. Now we have to do b minus c. So we have b n z n minus p y n plus q z n is equal to 0. Now we have c was what? a n y n minus p y n plus q z n is equal to 0. Since we have to subtract sign change, sign change, sign change. This one is cancelled out. So we left with b n z n minus a n y n equal to 0. From here we could say b n z n is equal to a n y n. So we got one of the terms that is b n z n is equal to a n y n. Ab is terms ko just put in any of the equation either b or c. So put b n z n is equal to a n y n. So we have what? First let it be b n z n minus p y n plus q z n is equal to 0. In the expression this divide this terms by b and z n. So if we divide this term by b and z n we get 1 minus p y n upon b and z n plus q z n upon b and z n is equal to 0. z and z n cancel out. We left with 1 minus p y n upon plus here we have q upon b n is equal to z n equal to 0. So we have b and z n. Can we replace b and z n with a n y n? Yes, because both values are same. So y n. y n y n cancel out. We got 1 minus p a n plus q b n is equal to 0. From here we can say 1 is equal to p a n minus if we take everything in the right hand side q b n and this is our question. P A N minus Q B N value of this question is 1 and this is our answer. So this is one of the interesting question of algebra but quite tough too. So if you have a question in your exam, you can easily solve direct up sponsor. Kar sakte ho. We can even solve with the values putting but it will be very tedious and lengthy. Hoga. So sometimes we solve algebra with the help of basic concepts. Chalo, main milta next video. Mein. If you want to join any of the courses, call on this number or WhatsApp on this number. Milta in next video. Till then, God bless you. Happy learning and